Chapter 11 When I walked downstairs, I saw Mom was gone and Richard was sitting on the couch. Hey, Scarlet, he smiled. Where's Mom? She went to see your dad's girlfriend and your stepbrothers, he answered. I nodded, wiping the remaining tears from my eyes. Have you been crying? he asked. I nodded. Come here. I walked over to him and looked at him. Tell me, what's wrong? Promise you won't tell Mom? I asked. He nodded. <sighs> My friend found out I'm anorexic, and I just don't want Mom to find out, I said quietly. Well, perhaps we could work something out and work on your eating, okay? Richard said. I nodded. Oh, and Scarlet? Who's your friend? I looked at him. I don't know, I said. He looked at me and nodded. I sighed and walked upstairs. Am I going crazy? I whispered to myself. I groaned and laid on my pillow and drifted into a long sleep. When I woke up, I heard singing. This song was Sweet Dreams. I sat up and saw Jeff at the end of my dead bed, <laughs> staring right at me. Jeff. He scooched over to me and pushed me lightly down into my bed and closed my eyes with his thumbs. Go to sleep, he whispered. I bit my tongue and tried not to cry. Was he going to kill me? That's the first thing he said when he had a knife to my throat that night at the park. Jeff, please, I whispered. He laughed softly and pulled me to him. I opened my eyes and saw his white hoodie. He was hugging me. Will you do something for me? he asked. Yes. Will you look after my dog for a while? I smiled and nodded. All right, I'll leave him outside. Thanks, Scarlet. He's called Smile, by the way. And jumped out my window. A few minutes later, the doorbell rang. I ran downstairs, seeing Mom wasn't back yet. I got it, I yelled. Richard looked at me and sat down. I pulled open the door and was tackled to the ground by a huge husky. Aww, I smiled, running my fingers through his fur. I got up and closed the door. Scarlet, explain why there is a dog in this house, Richard asked. Oh, um, my friend asked me to look after him. Richard frowned, but seemed to accept my answer. I took him out to the garden and frowned. He was covered in blood. I sighed and took him upstairs to the bathroom. I ran a mid-warm bath and put him into it, running shampoo through his fur. Half an hour later, his fur was clean. I looked around our house for food. Richard, do we have any dog food? I yelled. Try the basement, he yelled back. I finally found a bag of dog biscuits and tried to feed Smile one. He wouldn't eat it. I sighed, walked back upstairs, Smile following. The doorbell rang. I ran to the door. I opened it, and there stood Jeff. His hood pulled over his face. Look up, I laughed. Thanks, Scarlet. I hope he was in too much trouble. Not at all. I give him a bath and try to feed him, I said. Jeff nodded. Jeff, he was covered in blood, I muttered. Jeff sighed. I'll tell you later, he whispered. He kissed my cheek and walked away. Smile followed him. I closed the door and turned around. Richard was looking at me from the couch. Was that your friend? he asked. I nodded. He kissed you. Richard grinned. No, no, he didn't, I protested. Aw, does Scar have a crush? He teased. Ha ha. Funny. I muttered and walked up to my room. Chapter 12 Before I got to my room, the front door opened and I heard my mom and a few other voices. I walked downstairs and there before me stood my stepbrothers, my stepsister, and my dad's girlfriend. I'd only met my siblings four times. One of them was 17 and called Andrew, and the other was 14 and called Joseph. My sister was called Loki. She was 15. Andrew walked over to me and lifted me up, hugging me. Hey, Scarlet, he whispered. Tears welled up in my eyes. I squeezed him. I loved my stepbrothers. Andrew, I missed you, I cried. Joseph walked over too with Loki and hugged me from behind. I missed you guys, I whispered wiping my eyes. I looked over at my dad's girlfriend, Vanessa, and smiled. She gave me a warm smile back and walked over to my mom and Richard. They started talking. Scar, why don't you and the kids go to your room? My mom asked. I nodded and led them to my room. It's not very big, I know, I muttered. 
Andrew laughed and walked up to my room, sitting on my bed. Joseph sat next to him, and Loki stood up next to the window. What shall we do? I asked. We could watch movies, Joseph said, and him and Andrew raided my TV shelf. Loki sighed. Okay, then, I smiled. They picked out a few horror films. Does Jenny let you watch horror films? Andrew asked, talking about my mom. Yes, I smiled. Did Robert let you watch them? I didn't want to call him Dad in front of them. They both nodded. You guys can pick, I smiled. They both chose The Exorcist. I glared at them. Loki, are you sure you want to watch this? I asked her. She grinned and nodded. We all sat on my bed and sat next to Andrew. At the scary bits, I hugged him tightly, and he laughed and held me. When the movie ended, I was nearly crying. It was 6 p.m. That was scary, I whispered. Andrew ran his hands through my hair. It's all right. It's not real, he whispered. My mom shouted at us, and we all came downstairs. All right, guys. Me, Vanessa, and Richard have talked, and we decided you guys are going to move in with us. My mom cried, smiling. I looked at her. No, no, no. If they move in, I might not see Jeff again. Really? Joseph asked. Yes, son. We are all going to be a nice, happy family. Vanessa smiled. All right, Scarlet. You are going to stay here alone. Me, Vanessa, Richard, and the kids are going to Vanessa's house to get all their belongings. So can you set up all the rooms, honey? My mom smiled. I nodded, and they all walked out to the nine-seater car. I locked the door inside. Well, this is just great, I shouted. Calm down, Scarlet, said a voice from the kitchen. Jeff, he walked into the living room. It's not fair. I'll probably never be able to see you again with too many people living here, I whispered. Shh, you will. I promise, he smiled. Come on, I'll help you, he said, holding my hand and walking up the stairs. I unlocked the guest room doors. Our house used to be a B&B, &B, so we had a lot of rooms. We had a three spare rooms, one for Vanessa, one for Loki, and one for Andrew and Joseph. All three rooms were cream and contained two beds per room. Me and Jeff pushed the beds together in Vanessa and Loki's room, forming a double bed. I opened the curtains all the rooms. They all showed our back garden. Thanks, Jeff. I smiled. I guess I'll be going, he said. I grabbed his arm. You said you'd tell me why there was blood on your dog. He sighed. Well, I love him so much, but I can be a bit abusive to him, Jeff admitted. Oh, I said. Sorry you had to find out about that, he muttered. It, it, it's fine, Jeff, I said, hugging him. Show me your ribs, Scarlet, he whispered. I bit my lips softly and pulled up my shirt halfway up, revealing my skinny body. Jeff knelt down and put his hand over the area where my heart was. Your heart is beating quickly, he chuckled. He traced my ribcage with his fingers. Am I the only one who knows? he asked, pulling my shirt down. You and Richard, I said. He nodded. You'll be okay. I've got to go, he said. I no he nodded and jumped out of the window in Loki's room. I sighed. This would be a long night.